Okay, this is Mr. Kamau with PoliceAbuse.com. This is a formal um, interview. I'm on the line with Mr. Billups. He's an uh, alleged victim of police misconduct. Mr. Billups, please tell me what happened and why you contacted PoliceAbuse.com. Uh, I, I, I contacted you guys because I'm not getting no help in Cleveland, Ohio with the situation. Everybody is being biased. Don't nobody want to um, take a look at the evidence that I'm presenting to them besides the news channels. Um, I was harassed. I've been harassed by these guys since 2005, the same police station. I've never been arrested by any other uh, officer of duty but these guys. They tasered me 10 times, uh, charged me with crimes I didn't commit as far as assaulting a police officer and throwing some drugs when I was being tasered. Okay, let's, let, let, hold on. Let's, let's slow down for a second. Talk to me about how you were tasered, what force was used, and just describe the circumstances that led to that situation. Okay, uh, I was tasered using a hand taser by the officer O'Valley. He uh, tasered me at least five times. Uh, drive tasered me on my side while I was laying on my stomach. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Off. Hold on. I want you to tell me exactly what happened, but I want you to start off a little before that. Tell me what you were doing, how you came in contact with them, and then how this this excessive force started. Okay. Okay. I was standing outside with my family members, cousins, and aunts. We were standing at the entrance of the parking lot to Rainbow Terrace in Garden Valley. Uh, one uh, one officer pulled in in a unmarked car, all black vice car. Then another, uh, five minutes later, another car pulls in, and he pulls right in front of the Blue Montero where we were standing at in the entrance of the parking lot, and he proceeded to jump out with the taser gun while my son was standing there. He tried to he tried to taser me, so I, I, I well, laid him hold, on the front. Hold, on. How, how, hold on. How old is your son? He's 10, sir. So you got a 10-year-old boy there. The police jumped out of the car. Were they looking for you? Was this a warrant? What were they doing? No, oh, they just harassing me. They, that's what they've been doing since 2005, and I have it on record. Every arrest that I've ever had has been on file. It's been by CMHA Police Department. Okay, and no what is, what is, hold on. What does CMHA stand for? What does that mean? Uh, Cuyahoga Metropolitan Housing Authority. Okay, so this is the Housing Authority Police, and they've been harassing you on a regular basis. Yes, yeah, since 2005, and the court, docu the court documents will prove that. Okay, well, hold on. I, I'll, get, I'll get to that in a minute. So in this particular incident, you weren't doing anything illegal? No, sir, not at all. I was standing at the entrance, entrance of the parking lot. They came onto private property. If you were in Cleveland, Ohio, you would see how the properties separate. Okay, well, hold on. I, I, I'll, I'll get to that in a second. I believe you. I just want to walk through a few systematic questions. So you weren't doing anything okay. illegal. What, what were you doing, just standing there talking? Standing there talking, get ready for the air show, August 28th, 2008. Okay, there's an air show in the area. Yes, sir. Okay, was this at a park or was it at the at the complex where oh, you were? Oh, it's a, it's, a, it's a complex. It's called Rainbow Terrace Complex. Okay, and you can see the air show from the complex? No, we was going to go down to the lake. They um, they pulled in the parking lot right before we was about to pull off and go to the lake and they just did what they did to Okay, well, hold on. So you, wait, wait, wait. I gotta, we got to establish some facts or you're going to get blown out when this case goes before okay. the police. You have to establish okay. a few simple things. That one, you were engaged in legal activity before they contacted you. Two, that you didn't do anything to draw their attention that would make them otherwise come after you. And three, that they were operating outside of the law. And to do that, we can't just jump to what happened to you. we got to deal with what you were doing, where you were going, and it's all got to make sense. So now let me go back to the okay, question. Okay, understand. Yeah, okay. And, understand. I, and I don't mean to belittle you. Cause, I'm sorry. Because there's no way for you I to know. I understand. Yeah, I'm just trying to tell you that these, this is the way the police department is going to approach the investigation, and I want to make sure that if this happened to you, it gets treated seriously. But if they start seeing holes in your story and things don't line up, I want to deal with that now so you know what to a answer, and answer honestly always, obviously. But you also want to make sure that you cover certain details that they're going to expect to hear. And so let me go back to where we were, which is you weren't doing anything illegal. Yes, I was not. Okay. And they came out of these cars when you were preparing to leave the area to go to some event, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, before you left for this event, who was there with you at the scene where this whole thing started? Uh, Tiny Lolita Russell. My son, Paul Bradley, and my sister-in-law, uh, what's her name? 
Hell, man. Samika Smith. Okay. Samika Smith. All right, so all you guys are together getting ready to go. Who was? What car were you going to get into? Who was doing the driving? Uh, we were going to get in a Blue Montero Sport, a 1996 Blue Montero Sport. Okay. Now, before you got to get in the car, you said the police suddenly showed up. How many police cars, how many officers, and what was the first thing that they told you? Okay, the first car pulled in, he pulled to the back end of the parking lot at 7113 Clark Valley. The second car pulled in exactly five minutes later, and he stopped right in front of the Blue Montero Sport where we were standing. Okay. He proceeded to jump out. Okay. okay. He proceeded so, to jump out the car. Okay, I'm not trying to cut you off. No, no, it's okay. So he jumps out of the car, and I'm going to let you go now. You're doing perfect. So now tell me what he did and what he said. He said, he jumped out the car. He said, hey, come here for a minute. He said, if you move, I'm going to taser you. But by this time, while he was getting out the car, he already had the taser going out. So I, I started to run because he had the taser going out, and my son was right there. I don't understand why you guys are pursuing me, why you pulled up. I don't understand what's going on. So I took a brief run, and I ran screaming for help, and I had the witnesses that heard me screaming for help because I didn't know what was going on. The officer shot the taser gun. He missed me with the taser gun in front of my son, so then he threw it at me. You see what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. all the time while I'm running, I only ran like 20 feet, sir. But okay. at the same time, I didn't lose the officer or nothing. I made sure he stayed behind me until all my witnesses came outside. Mm -hmm. And from then on, he, just, he had his way with me. His name is Mr. O'Valley. He's a detective. Okay, so now you, 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 hold on, let me back up. You ran for a few feet, and you, did you stop, yes, or did he catch you? No, I, re, I stopped. I, I got on my hands and knees, and this is where my witnesses would come in at. I got on my hands and knees, and I put my hands above my head. The officer proceeded to walk up behind me, kick me on my, on my stomach from the back with his foot, and made me lay down. And then he got on, 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 on the back of me on my backside, and he got to taser me on my right hand side with a taser dart gun. He got the hand taser me. And then he stepped up and he, he shot me with it like two or three times. One time it's actually caught on a video. Okay, hold on. Let me stop you there. Uh, you had already gotten down on your hands and knees and had your hands yes, behind your head when he came behind you yes, and his first move was to kick you in the back? Yes, he kicked me in the back and make me lay down. And okay, he so, so, he not, me, so he sir. knocked you down. He gets on top of you. Now, at this point, you've been knocked down. Were you resisting, kicking him, punching him, or were you, like, down oh, sir. really uh, on I the ground? I laid down. Okay. So I now, laid down on the ground. Okay, so now he's on top of you. When and why did he get another taser gun out, and why did he start tasering you? It was the, it was the same taser gun, sir. He just, re, like, he reversed it and it just shot. Okay. It just shot. I don't know if it was the back end of it or nothing. It was a taser gun because he had his, he had, he had his trigger finger on it. But when he would, he was... Like he was punching me in the side, but at the same time, there's electricity volts going through my body. I was laying there paralyzed practically, foaming at the mouth, and he still kept tasering me. Okay, so he was tasering you and tasering you, and what was the point? Were you, were you, were you running away? Were you kicking? What were you doing? Just rolling no. on the ground? No, sir. I was laying there, sir, telling these people I didn't have nothing but some marijuana. That's all I was saying, sir. And I was asking him why he kept doing it. Why he kept doing it, he say, uh, you was resistant. And out of the 40 witnesses, sir, everybody seen me land on the ground. Every, it was like a big circle, a crowd of people, and they just kept tasering me in front of everybody. Just kept constantly just doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it, to the point where I was foaming out my mouth, screaming for these people to stop. Everybody huh? heard this. Were, 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 there, were there enough officers there that they could have reasonably been able to just put you in handcuffs and put you in the car? Yes, sir. It was over four officers there. But they kept tasering you anyway. Yes, and then on the video you can see how I was laying there still, not resisting. On the video you can see how the officer just shot me in, in, in the buttocks area mm -hmm. on the video on YouTube.com. Mm -hmm. And he just tasered me while the guys was holding me down. He was just tasering me. I'm, I wasn't resisting. I didn't show any kind of resistance during, during the whole situation. And I have all the witnesses to verify that, sir. Okay. Everybody. Okay, how long, I'm sorry about that, how long did this go on where you were being uh, tasered? Uh, at least, at least 20 minutes, sir. At least 20 minutes, because they was kicking me, too. And I have witnesses for that. And you can see at 42 seconds into the video on YouTube, you can see the officer stand in front of me and backhand slap me. He actually hit you in the face? Yes, sir. He kneeled in front of me at 42 seconds into the video with the time stop. You can see him backhand slap me. And that's on the video that's on YouTube? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. And who are your witnesses? You said there are people that saw the whole thing? Yes, I have statements and witnesses and phone numbers for these people, too. Okay. All right. 
All right, I'm, I'm going to need some additional information from you. 